Ahoy Ahoy crew, let's go over the weekly quests. First, what are the weekly quests? Well, obviously, they are quests that you do every week, but why do we do them and what exactly are they? Weekly quests are a list of quests that you can obtain every Tuesday at midnight server time. They are offered by Valerie O'Daly in the main office at Go50. They offer two different rewards for completing them, those being Endeavor Tokens and Blacksmith's Blessings. Endeavor Tokens are an account-bound currency that can be spent at the Master of Coin in the main office. The NPC offers a wide variety of equipment, mainly headgears, and special consumables, which are also all account-bound. A number of the headgears are useful for players in the early to mid-game stages of gears and can help you progress. While the consumables are very useful for everyone at any point in the game and last an entire hour each. Some of the notable consumables are Shining Defense Scroll, which gives you a huge amount of defense and magic defense, Jin Potion of Energy, which recovers max SP every few seconds, and Jin Rejuvenation Potion, which restores max HP every few seconds. There are a couple damage increasing potions as well. And for the Blacksmith's Blessings, these are used to refine your equipment and are not account bound. They are fully tradable. If you choose to consume blessings when refining, if you were to fail the refine and destroy your gear, it is instead kept completely safe. Keep in mind, if you succeed refining, it still consumes the blessings used. All of the rewards are given out to you through the Rodex mail system. Alright, with that out of the way, let's get into the specific quests. Savage Coast Hunt asks you to hunt one Garonath and one Nizori from Monster Hunter 2. This rewards us with one Blacksmith's Blessing. Great Monster Hunt asks you to hunt two Garonath or two Nizori. The monster is chosen randomly each week. This rewards us with one Blacksmith's Blessing. Instance Completion asks you to complete a single instance three times. The instance is chosen randomly each week. This rewards us with 10 Endeavor Tokens. Monster Subjugation asks you to hunt a set of two monsters. The monsters chosen are generally from higher-end dungeons, such as Illusion Dungeons or the Level 200 Dungeons, and the set of monsters will be from the same dungeon. A new set of monsters is chosen randomly each week. This rewards us with 10 Endeavor Tokens. Combat Training asks you to hunt 50 to 100 of two different Bio 5 monsters. The monsters chosen will be counterpart classes, so Rune Knight plus Royal Guard, or Archbishop plus Sura, for example. A new set of monsters will be chosen randomly each week. This rewards us with 5 Endeavor Tokens. Weapon Refinement asks you to refine a level 4 weapon to plus 5 or higher 10 times. You can find bulk level 4 weapons from the Sky Fortress instance or buy the cheap Vicious Mind weapons off the market. This rewards us with 5 Endeavor Tokens. Treasure Hunt asks you to find 3 treasure chests on 3 different days, making it a total of 9 treasure chests you have to find. To start this quest and get the treasure chest locations, speak with Maggie Arth in Eden. Every time you open a chest, you are given a gold coin pouch. The pouch, when opened, will give you 1 to 10 gold coins randomly. This quest rewards you with 1 Endeavor token for each day you complete, and 5 Endeavor tokens when you complete all 3 days. Item Hunt asks you to collect three special quest items from various enemies. These items drop at roughly a 20-30% to 30 chance from the selected monsters, which are chosen randomly each week. To start this quest and find the items and monsters you will need to hunt, speak with Sean in Eden. You can speak with Sean whenever you need to, to get reminded of the items you need to hunt and the monsters that drop them. Note that these are account-bound quest items that only drop when you have the quest active. That means you cannot stock up or sell them to other players. If you hunt them in a party, going above two members will start to decrease the drop rates for everyone in the party, so it's best to hunt solo or in a duo. This rewards us with two Endeavor tokens for each item hunt you turn in, and one Blacksmith's Blessing for completing all three. Daily Quest asks you to collect daily rewards four times within the week. This rewards us with one Blacksmith's Blessing. It's that easy. Clear All Weekly Quests asks you to complete the rest of the weekly quests. Once you do, 
This rewards us with six blacksmith's blessings. In total, completing the weekly quests gives us 44 endeavor tokens and 10 blacksmith's blessings. There is a rule around the weekly quest similar to the daily rewards. You may only take one weekly quest per week per person. So you are not allowed to take the weekly quest on alternate accounts. And if you find a workaround to obtain extra weekly quest rewards, your account will be punished. But sometimes you need endeavor tokens on your alternate account characters. Good news is, there is an alternate weekly quest given out by Sally o Weekly in the main office. These are the same as the regular weekly quests, except they only have some of the Endeavor token quests and none of the BSB ones. That's all there is to the weekly quests. If this video helped you, subscribe to the channel, share this video with friends, and I'll see you in the next video.